Wind whipped at Knott's clothing as he rushed across the grounds toward the flames. As they drew closer, they saw a group of Odinites gathered at a distance from the flames. Knott realized they were all humans, Danil among them. Where are the Pialans? Some of the humans looked at one another. Danil stared intently at the ground. Cut his bones! <coughs> Knott squinted and could just make out a few forms running between the burning tents. You mean some of them are still in there? Goddess, why aren't any of you helping them? Yeah, we'd start a bucket brigade. I'm going in. The fire had engulfed roughly a dozen tents and spread to the branches of the large ash tree around which the Tielans had camped. <laughs> a Tielan woman ran right into him, <laughs> but he managed to catch the woman by the arm. It's okay, I won't hurt you. <laughs> Who did this? Her response confirmed not spheres. This was not an accident, it was an attack either by humans in the camp or Camites from Tinska. As Knott rushed into the haze, (coughs) two more Talons ran towards him, but the moment they saw him, they changed course. Ahead of him, Knott saw someone lying in the grass. (coughs) He rolled the body over. (sighs) It was a Talon man, eyes wide, face pale, dead. Not from the flames, either. His abdomen was torn to pieces. Someone took an ox to him. (laughs) Not couldn't see through the smoke, but the laugh was close. Following instinct, he darted between a pair of smoldering tents <laughs> and raised his black bark staff. <laughs> Not yanked him up roughly by the collar and came face to face with Mick, the axe wielding man with the Camite tattoo who'd been the ringleader of Ocrestia's abusers. Mick's eyes widened when he recognized Not. Oh, shit! Not head-butted him, and his axe dropped to the ground. Not could see a group of Tielans on the other side of the tents. Seven men on horseback surrounded them, herding them together. There was no doubt. Camites from Tinska had set fire to the Tielan tents. And the horrifying smell told Not that at least a few Tielans had perished in the flames. <laughs> Not threw Mick into one of the burning tents. Not saw a Tielan figure running between two of the tents a row over. Not quickly crept between another gap in the tents and grabbed the figure by the arm. Shh. Cover. Not. Not raised a finger to his lips. Stay behind me. Not handed Cavill his staff and drew his dagger. Sparks floated down from the burning tree limbs above them. <laughs> To their right, but facing away from them, was a tall man carrying a club. Not slipped up behind him, wrapped one arm around the man's head, then drew the blade of his dagger across the man's throat. To Not's left, another human was dragging a Tielan child by the arm. Not crept up beside the man, grabbed the human's wrist, and twisted. The man let go of the boy. Not twisted harder, then raised his dagger. I won't hurt you. Come on. Not walked the sobbing child back to Cavill. Get the woman and the boy to safety. And let me have the staff. Thank you. Not turned his focus to the group of Tielans huddled between the human riders. Seven men. I can handle seven men. Even on horseback. As he approached the nearest rider, the man's horse began to back away. But not caught up in time to swing his staff at the man's skull. The riderless horse galloped away. And not lunged at the next rider, grabbing him by the belt. And heaving him to the ground. Not threw his dagger into the nearest man's neck. Between the fire and Knott's violent outburst, the remaining horses spooked. One turned and galloped away, taking its rider with it. Another threw its rider. The Tielans took advantage of the chaos to flee. While the remaining two humans dismounted before their horses could throw them as well. The throne rider climbed back to his feet, so Knott faced three men, a pitchfork and two axes between them. Not dodged an axe and swung his staff into the attacker's shins. 
and kicked him in the face. He parried a pitchfork thrust with his staff and struck the assailant in the face. The man he'd kicked tried to stand, but not kicked him again. Just as the third attacker rushed forward with his axe, not stepped neatly out of the way, and gripped the man's arm as he passed, twisted, and threw him into the ground. Pitchfork man charged again, but not extended his staff, thrusting it into the man's throat. He collapsed to his knees, eyes rolling back in his head. Not drove his heel into the face of the last Camite who tried to stir, and then everything was still. <coughs> Not looked up just in time to see one of the flaming branches of the giant ash tree collapse onto the burning tents below in a burst of sparks. <coughs> <coughs> <coughs>